Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We all know the fact that the music industry is one of the most influential industries in the modern era. There are millions and millions of songs created daily and people listen to them multiple times every single day. So today in this video, we will look at how NFTs are shaping the way music sounds and how these NFTs will influence the music industry. But before you watch the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the post notification bell symbol to get all of our related videos on the go. So without further ado, let's get down to business. You could be excused for being suspicious about, if not wiped out by, the idea of NFTs by this point. The cryptocurrency adjacent electronic artifacts that swept the art market and the music business last year. Let's first understand how does the music industry work. The quality of music production has long been influenced by formatting. In the 1950s, 3 to 5 minutes max became the standard length for a popular song, enabling greatest hits performers and eye-catching songs. A 45 RPM 7-inch single could accommodate multiple 3 to 5 minutes of music. Music videos had to contend with tiredness and the distant, which in the 1980s favored performers with more ostentatious appearances. The acoustic version of rock was born as a result of the medium-paced 12-song records that were made possible by LPs and CDs. Routes with front-loaded chords function better in membership broadcasting because every title track has to compete with 70 million other melodies. Additionally, because artists only receive pennies for each song broadcast live, they are encouraged to produce albums with a large number of songs. Composers are slashing even more priceless seconds from their potential songs due to TikTok's frenetic tempo. Let's explore the issue a little more with the history of music in form of NFTs. When You See Yourself by Kings of Leon was hailed as the very first soundtrack to be published as a non-fungible token in March 2021. Customers who purchased the latest and greatest electronic plugin received their real copies worldwide. You guessed it, traditional MP3s and vinyl records. Snoop Dogg declared that Death Row Records, a hip-hop brand old enough for the Super Bowl halftime show which he had purchased, became the first NFT imprint. Fans of Ozzy Osbourne purchased Crypto Bats NFTs, only to have cyber criminals steal them. Mr. Baby got back himself, Sir Mix-a-Lot, even removed a succession of BitButt's NFTs to raise money for, no joke, colon cancer consciousness. In the majority of cases, these were advertising endeavors by well-known musicians with extensive marketing expertise. They merely gave their seal of approval to NFTs in the same way that they might license music for auto advertisements. You folks may think that, how do these NFTs revolutionize the music industry? All of us have contended that the technologies can save indie music, from dependable investment firms to renowned interactive media musicians. Despite the constant speculation that NFTs may one day alter not only the music industry but also the entire globe, nothing that their most capable supporters have accomplished with them so far gets oddly innovative. However, the record industry has been feeling kind of fortunate as corporate America has been gambling on NFTs the same way ordinary folks buy lottery tickets. Others, such as the neighborhood around Los Angeles niche company Leaving Records, suggest that innovation comparable to NFTs can be utilized for societal improvement, despite increasing scandals like the Portal hit piece, which seemed to distribute unlicensed NFTs of the artist's album cover. Let's put our cynicism aside for a moment and imagine a world in which NFTs are a standard method of music distribution, much like submitting your tracks to Spotify or buying an album on Bandcamp. What impact could that possibly have on the song itself? Let's clarify a few things. What is music NFTs? In essence, NFTs are virtual antiques. Unlike cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether, which aim to be as fungible, interchangeable as cash, they are referred to be as non-fungible since each coin is potentially distinct. NFTs like cryptocurrencies are stored on a blockchain, which functions as a decentralized database that records transactions without the aid of banks or other centralized organizations. Attachments to graphics, sounds, or both are frequently seen in music NFTs. They can be offered in versions of any magnitude, which are typically constrained in the hopes that they'll run out, or as one of one versions, where you can be the only proprietor of a specific Whitney Houston NFT. Anyone may now hear Kings of Leon's most recent album on Spotify, even if you spent $162,000 for an NFT of it. Beyond the distributed ledgers element, the items that music NFTs symbolize could be compared to a Bandcamp broadcast, where consumers have the opportunity to fairly directly support a performer while still allowing others to access the broadcast. Blockchain technology is significant for artists in the following ways. 
Thanks to smart contracts stored in the blockchain, if an NFT proprietor agrees to sell their NFT, the copyright owner is eligible to obtain a portion of resales as well. Since March 2021, a weekly NFT music poll named Top of the Blocks has provided hints as to what has thus far been successful. According to the list creator, Robin Spottiswood, the quantity needed to enter the top 10 has increased dramatically over the past year, going from the comparable $200 or $300 to $2,000 or $3,000 before the sudden decline in cryptocurrency prices. Although hip-hop, jazz, and symphonic are presently among the prominent NFTs, modern music once controlled the charts. She continued that she has witnessed that it's life-changing for a lot of individuals since she has been intimately implicated in the music NFT space for a year now. Let's take an example of singer-songwriter Violetta Zeroni. Berlin-based musician Violetta Zeroni, a veteran X Factor contestant who finished third in 2013 but didn't find much competitive advantage in the industry afterward, swore to give singing her all for one more year in the summers of 2021. She warned everyone that she would give up if things didn't work out. Zeroni explains a busy schedule of uninterrupted participation in NFT-centric Twitter spaces and discords where she endorses her songs to enthusiasts seeking to purchase, habitually getting awake until 5 a.m. to interact with North American audiences. And then, when she went home for the holidays, her mom told her about NFTs, Zeroni says. She acknowledges that this NFT world is ridiculous. You essentially spend the entire day socializing. You meet individuals while hopping from session to session and event to event and you display your music talent. Zeroni believes that since they may always showcase their music live in a Google meeting, vocalists, in particular, have an opportunity. It truly gets people's attention. It's wonderful that you're performing to them specifically over their cell phone. She started making hundreds of dollars just from her music NFTs in February. Here's a look at her collection, Violetta Zeroni Music NFTs Collection. Handcrafted Music, her debut NFT release, was a compilation of unvarnished folk tracks that were all performed in a single take. She produced the collection's clips in her lounge room for the sultry lament, A Little Rain Must Fall, which wouldn't sound out of place in a local cafe. The one-of-one one version of the NFT for A Little Rain Must Fall was auctioned on March 2nd for about an additional $10,000 in cryptocurrency at the time. That was sufficient to propel Zeroni to number two on the NFT music list, where she joined independent music mesmerist Casey Hill and unconventional digital artist Xyla in the top 10. At number one was Snoop Dogg, whose NFT for songs off his newest single, Back on Death Row, Snoop's stash box produced about $121,000 in shares traded that week. Even with today's weaker crypto prices, her next NFT startup, Moonshot, has gained roughly $40,000 since late April. Through Nifty Music, a company he co-founded, Spottiswood now offers Zeroni advice. Let's look at other examples. Nifty Sacks, the stage name of Italian blues artist Milo Lombardi, produces NFTs of tunes using only his musical instrument. Lombardi used to perform at ceremonies and corporate meetings, but during the disease outbreak, he learned about NFTs. By the time he released his first album of NFT music in March 2021, he had made approximately $120,000 in sales. Rap artist Halik Mol, a Bajan American born Malik Hall, tried a different path to the idea of NFTs as crowdsourcing by planning what is referred to as the very first fan-produced clip. Well above what he could have historically budgeted, Hall gathered $640,000 in three minutes in January for a clip of his bass-thumping, synth-shaking track Verified, allowing a full documentary crew to decamp to Barbados. The launch of especially music-focused NFT services like Catalog and Nina over the past year have been a significant breakthrough. NFTs are not eliminating regional governments, which is contrary to the idea behind cryptocurrencies. The encounter for fans won't likely change all that much in the very big scheme of things, even if music NFTs take off. Funds are provided in traditional currencies, and the cryptocurrency components of NFTs will be just hidden from consumers as Spotify shares between copyrighted material. Although this vision of the future may not be visually stunning, it could nonetheless represent a step in the direction of more proportional pay for some artists. Currently, the melody of NFTs is probably the whoosh of enormous amounts of money being exchanged. But when this modern tech develops further, it will be worthwhile to cut through the hoops to hear what composers accomplish with it. Well, that was it for this video. I hope you got to know a lot about these music NFTs. Leave a comment below if you want to learn more about NFTs. Subscribe, like, and comment on the channel. And don't forget to click on the post notification bell icon to receive all of our uploads in your inbox immediately. With that, it's time for me to end my video. Till next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.